When you look at the world of pure sublime magic, one of the most significant aspects of the game are magical artifacts. Um, ancient scrolls and powerful weapons and other enchanted objects that you can find in the game. I really wanted the album cover to evoke this feeling, to feel like you were holding one of those objects in your hands. When I work, I like to start with pencil sketches, to quickly form my thoughts on paper. When the idea for the artwork is more or less ready, I move to the main part of my process, which is digital painting. I wanted to create this sort of mythical, mysterious feeling of grandeur, as in the works of the old masters from the history of art. The main inspirations for the overall look of the cover were the highly decorative illuminated manuscripts from the 9th century, as well as works of Renaissance because they were full of those multi-figure epic scenes and also very rich in detail. This was a great opportunity to take the classic 90s fantasy aesthetic and recreate it in this sort of overhaul. It was important to me that the creatures would still look very true to how they looked in the game. It's quite easy to um, lose the spirit of something when you're trying to recreate it in a new way. So that was the challenge, to keep the original feel that makes this game so special and not drift away too much stylistically. For the inner gate vault, I wanted to pay a homage to the most iconic thing in the world of heroes, which is the eternal fight of heavens and hell. I played the game for the first time before I was seven years old, and it has been one of my favorite titles ever since. I think it's really influenced my decision to become a professional concept artist. The game has so much to offer, the strategic-based gameplay, the vast visual side, and most importantly, the music by Paul Anthony Romero and Rob King. I think this is why the community is so active to this day and why the game is very much alive after all these years. <laughs>